Happy Monday, everybody. On this June 10, we're going to give you the latest Detroit Lions news and rumors a lot pertaining to minicamp. The Detroit Lions did sign a linebacker. We're going to talk about him and what he means towards this football team, what he could utilize. Talk about Lee McNeil and DJ Raider, the destruction. Former Lions players that don't have a job, Sheila Ford Hamp and Dan Campbell. A lot of Lions to talk about. Let's go. Go ahead and smash that good old like button. That's what it's all about to get those likes up there. Let's get her done. Let's go ahead and start with the first news here that the Detroit Lions, they made a signing. The Detroit Lions signed linebacker Ben Neum. Now, look at Ben Neum here. Not a lot going on for the guy. 6'3", 235. 28 years old, Iowa. He was an undrafted guy in 2018. When you look at his stats, there's really not that much when it comes to this man. He's just just a little bit getting it done. This is what he did this career and past even season. He played in seven games in 2023, one sole tackle. Career, 86 games, two sacks, 149 solo, one forced fumble. So when I look at Ben Nima, I see a guy who is just a camp body, in my opinion. The Lions are really good at the linebacker position right now. If you look at it, you got Alex Anzalone, Derek Barnes, Jack Campbell, Malcolm Rodriguez. Uh, Jalen Reeves made in special teams. It's going to be really difficult for a Ben Neiman to go ahead and make this football team, especially considering the fact that he hasn't really done anything and the room is already stacked. So this guy, in my opinion, is going to be a camp body, and that's not a bad thing. The world's not over if you're considered a camp body. It's not. So let me know in the comment section. Grade the signing. I'll give it a B. Three former Detroit Lions starters who might be done in the NFL. I haven't seen the list. We're going to go over it at the same time. Wide receiver Marvin Jones. Yeah, you know, he had a situation where he left the team last year, personal reasons. And I'm, I'm sure he puts his family and friends way above. We all know Marvin Jones. Great guy. Great family man. He's had some family issues with the passing of a child. And he is a great guy. If he is done in the NFL, it's because he wants to be done in the NFL. He probably just wants to focus on family. Could he make a team? Yeah, he barely made our team last year. Barely did anything, but he's a great guy. He is a, a solid player, and he could be absolutely done in the NFL because of his personal reasons. Maybe he just wants to be done. Next player here that they said is Charles Harris. Yeah, 100% here. Charles Harris fell off a cliff. We gave this guy a deal a couple years ago, and then it just, he got injured, and then Denver showed up anymore. Charles Harris was like kind of like a one- or two-year wonder here in Detroit. I think we got him from Atlanta years back, and it just, he has never reclaimed it. The Lions had him on the roster. He did nothing last year, and he's still on the, and he's still on the sidelines. He probably doesn't make another team unless crazy injuries happen. He gets lucky. Next player, last player they have on this list is Halapuri Vati Vaitai, Lions offensive guard. He has spine issues. He has back issues. His is medical. He'll be done in the NFL because he probably just can't play the game anymore. He's huge, and we all we've all seen the injuries. He's a good player, but he can't be healthy. It is, his back issue is long-term, so he might as well just go ahead and call it a career. Um, and look, I'm not mad at him for when he was here. Why? Because he can't help. The back issues. You know, the, the, he, when it comes to Bob Quinn, he signed him. He didn't ask for, the, like, he. that's the money they gave him. So I'm, I'm not mad at him at all. Rest up. Halupuri Vati Vaitai. We appreciate you. And Lee McNeil looking forward to playing alongside a DJ Reader. Now, you've probably already seen this sometimes. I never really gave my take on it. Ali McNeil he really looked up to DJ Reader when DJ Reader started in the NFL, and Ali McNeil was one of his fans. And now to play alongside him, he's absolutely thrilled about it, and he's learning. And he says, in my head, it's called like destruction. That's what he's saying. The destruction of those two, two guys coming together, there's no other way to see it. Every time I close my eyes, visualize it, I just see destruction, honestly. 
I've been watching DJ Raiders younger. I was crazy playing like him. Now McNeil, I've been watching DJ for a long time. Being in Greensboro, watched him through Clemson and Houston everywhere. So it'd be wild, but I see destruction. Destruction upon the interior defensive line is words of glory to us. And Lee McNeil broke out last year. Five sacks really was being a disruptor. Was starting to become an, a, a nice blue chipper for the Detroit Lions. And I think Agent DJ Reader is just going to make him even more explosive because you can't double everybody. DJ Reader is a guy who takes double teams. Aiden Hutchinson as well. You're going to give him Lee McNeil one on one sometimes. And he's good at winning his matchups. He's good taking on singles. Heck, he'd do doubles sometimes. So having a DJ Reader who's one of the best run stuffers who takes on doubles all the time is a guy who does a lot but doesn't get the credit is going to make everybody on this defensive line even better. Ali McNeil benefiting probably the most. And these two guys is our starters. It is much better than it was. And I'm super stoked to see the Brothers of Destruction on Sundays with the Detroit Lions. Give me one word to compare Lee McNeil and DJ Reader. Lee McNeil did Destruction. Maybe you got another name for him. Let us know in the comments below. Sheila Fordham named Michiganian of the Year. How cool is that? How cool for Sheila Fordham to get Michigander of the Year. We know... When she took over, she fired the two clowns, Patricia and Bob Quinn, and she hired Brad Holmes, she hired Dan Campbell, Chris Spielman, and turned this franchise around quick. I am so happy for her, as she is a Lions fan, for her success. It all stems from leadership. She's the top one. Awesome, awesome, awesome that this occurred for Sheila Ford Hamp. Well-deserved. You know, it's it's just well-deserved. PFE ranked top 10 offensive tackles in the NFL, so I strongly disagree with the rankings. Tristan Wirfs or Panay Sewell, and you already know who they're going with. Not the one we like. National Best Friends Day. There's Khalif talking, but hey, good job, Sheila Ford Hamp. Good job, Detroit Lions. Appreciate it. Dan Campbell's focus on an avoiding complacency. Now, this is huge here because we got all the way to the NFC Championship game. We were a good team. During the NFC Championship game, there was a guy named C.J. Gardner-Johnson waving goodbye to the folks in the stadium halfway through the game. We got complacent. Complacent is probably one of the reasons why we didn't make the Super Bowl. And I don't care how good we are on paper. I don't care... If we're 10 and 0, I don't care if we're playing a garbage team. We must stay focused. Every team in the NFL that's playing us is looking at us as the standard right now. They're going to give it their best effort. We cannot think we are greater than everybody. We cannot think that we're above other teams. These players, this coaching staff must stay focused from week one all the way, hopefully, towards the Super Bowl. It is difficult to win like we did last year. It is difficult for every, everything to get right. We got to stay focused for winning. And we know Dan Campbell is presenting this to the players, and they're all 110% buying it. Campbell says, certainly no. Or sorry, Goff says, he certainly knows what he could be possibly hurting us. Oh, that'll just show up week one, Goff said. I don't believe for a second that we'll will be our attitude. That's human nature. I think so that way. So to be honest, we appreciate it. We have been ourselves. We've been holding others to the highest of standard. That's 100%. And Jared Goff is, is you know, one of the leaders on this football team for the players. Yes, you you look at it and be like, oh, that's an easy dub, right? You We look at this, oh, it's there. But we cannot do that. Every game counts for the Detroit Lions. You've seen how close we were for getting the number one seed last year. We must stay 100% focused and get these wins. We need to get the number one seed. To have playoffs throughout the playoffs at Ford Field, probably going to the Super Bowl. That fan base at Ford Field is nuts. It's one of the loudest stadiums in all of football, and especially for the postseason, it's loud. 
They must stay focused. And they will. This is the reason why we got cultural players. This is the reason Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell specifically look to find players. That is Detroit Lions way. They need players who will give it their all. Okay? Who will play through injury like a Frank Ragnow. Who puts the team first. Who's all about winning. Not about bragging. Not about talking but about producing. That's what this mentality is about. And if they do what Dan Campbell is saying, if they go into this season with this mentality, okay, that it's it's 0-0 every game, and every team is going to put up the best effort, we can not play conservative, we can not play like we're the better team. We must stay focused, must prepare each week like we're playing the last game of the year, the only game of the year. Seeding is vital. Winning in focus is vital for this year. We don't need a letdown. We don't need some sort of, you know, we're, we're, this, we're so great, and then we get let down when we have an opportunity to make a Super Bowl with the talent in this roster, which I think is one of the best talented rosters in all of football, this team has a chance to make legit noise. And the leadership from top down has to have this mentality. And I 110% believe they will. We just got to wait and see on Sundays. Folks, if you're a fan of the Detroit Lions, subscribe to the channel, get a fan's view. What if you don't like my view? You want a Herman Moore view? Subscribe to the channel because it's his channel, Herman Moore. There's other live streams. We're going to have other content creators start producing content on this channel, not just me, here very soon. With that said, folks, audio.